Hey folks, back again with another review. I wanted to do this review on Miss Diana from My 600 Pound Life. Um, I don't really have too much bad to say about her. Um, she has made a lot of progress since her episode aired. I was just reading up on her and she has lost a ton of weight. Like she's really doing really, really good now. But I, I want to get into what happened on the actual episode, which this uh, video is per request. I wasn't going to review her, but um, I watched her episode again last night and um, just did some reading on her progress. And, and I, I want to talk about her now. So, yeah, th I, I think this was a good request. <laughs> so, um, Diana, I, I believe they're from Seattle. It's her, it, her niece was very interesting. It, I've never seen a niece like that. I mean, the niece was very, very supportive, very supportive. Um, she was, you could tell she was getting tired. She was tired of everything that she ended up having to do, but she, she stuck it out and, and she was there. Um, uh, this morbidly obese woman, Diana, she had her niece going to the store for her. Her niece was being her enabler. She was getting all of her bad foods, bringing it to her. Um, she What I thought was interesting was that she'd have her go to the store, and then when she'd bring the food home to her, she asked, Diana asked her to hide the food in, well, most of the junk food in the oven so that when people would come by to visit, they wouldn't see all of that junk food and judge her. Um... I, I I don't think I've heard of anything like that. People hiding food in, in the oven and things of that nature. I mean, that's somebody that's really, really serious about, you know, not wanting, you know, not not, not being judged. So I, I found that interesting. Um, Diana had a lot of support. She had a lot of support. She had the support of her niece and she had the support of her sister. Um, they got on the road. They went to Seattle. That niece uprooted her whole... I mean, I'm sorry. They got on the road and went to Houston. That niece uprooted her whole life. Her husband, her kids, they moved with her to Houston. The sister was paying rent where they were living. The husband was working from home. The niece did all the cooking. All the cooking. When, when they went to go see Dr. Now... Um, Diana was telling Dr. Now, uh, how she was going to have things go. Her niece was going to stay. They were all going to stay in the same house. The niece would prepare all the meals. So Dr. Now did ask a very valid question. He says, well, if your niece was your enabler once before, when it came to bad foods, who's to say she's going to do right from now on with cooking you healthy, you know, healthy meals. Um, she really didn't have an answer, but they just went on ahead and they, they went on ahead and, 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 and just tried it. And it worked. It worked. Um, Diana was uh, being fed healthy meals and she was losing the weight. But Dr. Nell's concern was that, I mean, she was making progress. She was she was hitting the goals she needed to hit, you know, that Dr. Nell had set. It was no issue with her losing weight because the niece was controlling the food. She was cooking what was healthy. And the, uh, that niece was getting frustrated. I'm telling you. She, you you could tell when, when she was talking to the camera, she'd be like, she proved that she could do it. But she only proved that she could do it with me. Can she do it on her own? If I wasn't controlling the food, would she have lost the weight? I mean, that that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Now, she has lost the weight. She lost the weight. And, you know, after all this time, she's made tremendous progress. She got a, a really serious kickstart with that niece. If if the niece didn't really, you know, push with, with the healthy cooking and um, lifestyle changes, then I don't know if Diana would have been able to continue on like this. Maybe, but I doubt it. They say that after 21 days, you start to get used to If you do the same thing after 21 days, you begin to get used to it. It becomes a habit. 
you have rewired your habits mentally once you um it's repetitious for at least 21 days and it was with that niece that niece was doing the cooking you know and and if she wasn't cooking healthy I don't know. I don't think, I really don't think that Diana would have made as much progress as she did. I know it sounds negative for me to say something like that, but I'm just being honest. I mean, that's how I honestly look at it. She was very dependent on the niece. If she didn't have that niece, I don't know what she would have done. She probably would have died. She probably would have died. If, if she didn't have the support of her family, she had more support than most of the people I've seen on the show, most cast members. She had more support than just about any any other cast member. I would say Kirsten had a lot of support. Um, who else? Um, Gideon. Gideon had a lot of support. Um, Taritha had a lot of support. Um... But Diana, Diana takes the cake. I don't think there's another cast member that has had as much support as she has. Who is going to do all that? The niece stopped her life with her small children and her husband. And her husband was cool with it, too. He was down with it. They all packed up and left and went to Houston to help her get her life together. The sister was paying for where they were living. So that she could, you know, get herself to get. Who's going to pay your rent? And who's going to be cooking your meals? I mean, they really kind of. I don't want I to use the word babied. I don't want to. I don't want to use that. I don't want to use that word. Well, may, may, maybe I can. I mean, <laughs> even her niece said. On the ride, on the ride down here, she was the most needy person in the car. Like. My kids are, you know, like two and three years old, and they weren't that needy. They weren't needy as her. Well, you got to think about it. She's morbidly obese. She can barely breathe. You you putting her on the road for all that time. That's hard on somebody real big to be on the road that, you know, that many amount of hours. So she going to be needy. Somebody like that is going to be needy if they if they on the road for that long. Yeah, they they're going to be really really needy. And yeah, the Denise talked about that. She complained about it. She was like, "Man, this broad is needy, man. This broad is needy." <laughs> and that niece was getting frustrated. She was there for her. She was doing what she needed to do to help her, but she was frustrated. And and I would be too. I mean, I, I if 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 that were me, I would be frustrated too. Here I done uprooted my life to help you and you. I mean, she she was the, the one good thing. Diana wasn't being too difficult. She was complying with you know she was eating the food and she was losing the weight. So it, it wasn't like she was having too many temper tantrums, you know, <laughs> about the fact that she was having withdrawals from her food addiction. She went along with the program. Um, and I'm telling you, Dr. Nell was really concerned about that. He was like, if you didn't have your niece, uh, can, can you do this by yourself? You you haven't proven that you can do this on your own. Uh, she must have by now because she has lost a tremendous amount of weight. She looks really good ever since that episode aired. So, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to speak on that, um, Miss Diana. I, I didn't really want to make this this. Uh, my commentary on this review on, on this um episode too long uh i guess probably because it wasn't one of my favorite episodes i mean it was okay it, it was okay um she wasn't terribly you know um her, I, I i think the ep the episodes that really piss me off the most are the ones that where the the um cast member has a bad attitude i i just can't take that angela J. Um, let's see, oh, bad attitude or they're whining. Angela J. Uh, Shanae, of course, can't stand her. <laughs> her attitude, and to this day, she's still her attitude is still disgusting. Uh, based on her 
YouTube channel now. Uh, see who else? Uh, Penny. That's another person. Horrible attitude. Horrible. Um, and the Crybabies. Janine, Kirsten. I can't stand those episodes. I, I watch them. They're interesting to watch. And yeah, I'll review them. But, you know, they're not my favorite. And I think maybe that's why Diana's really kind of wasn't my favorite like that because she was needy. Uh, needy people, I guess you could still kind of put them in a category of a crybaby to an extent. She wasn't actually outright crying, but she was very, very needy like a like a little kid. You're a grown woman. Um, there, there are people on this show that are larger much that were large much larger than diana and they still were mobile and not as needy one ton family the the, the three siblings brandy clarence and Rashonda. Rashonda was not as she was 803 pounds and the, the chick was still walking 800 pounds and you still mobile that's why i'm just like mm, i don't want to hear no crap about if you're less weight than that, you five or six hundred pounds, which is still real big, but you 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 whining and you got people that's eight hundred pounds, seven hundred, eight hundred pounds, and they're they're still walking around. They they still those are the people that have given up, and if you don't push them every step of the way, they go they they just they gonna fail. So okay, all right, you guys. That's it. I, I just wanted to give a little commentary on this on this episode. I didn't really want to talk too long about it. Follow me on all social media. Outro will have the information as to where you can find me on other social media platforms. I'm out. Peace.